at the beginning of the meet, they say a pledge of allegiance, and then they list the guys that are sick and the guys that passed away, and they say a prayer for them. And the list gets longer all the time. Thank you. There is no one answer to cancer. That's a very important take-home message. If you hear nothing else from me tonight, hear that. There is no one answer to cancer. So if you have cancer, God forbid, and you go to a doctor and he says, this is the treatment program, well, that's just not true. There are many different strategies for approaching and dealing with cancer. For example, a very common cancer is non-small cell lung cancer. With the new medicines that we have available now, the statistics for this disease have improved dramatically. So for example, straight up chemotherapy gives you an overall survival rate of about 3% with not certain forms of small cell lung cancer. But with the newer immunotherapies that are available, just two of those medicines, Opdivo and Yervoy, raises the survival rate to over 35%. Add that to other small cell targeted therapies that we have available, and now you're in the 90s percent so overall survival, what used to be almost a death sentence type of cancer. So it's very important that if you are diagnosed, that you're working with a doctor, that you're working with a team who is aware of the latest breakthroughs in medicine. So how do I work with people who have a concern about cancer? Number one, I ask them a lot of questions. Then we do blood tests. The blood tests are looking at the following things. I look at biochemical factors. How's their liver doing? How's their kidneys doing? What's up with the thyroid? Because the thyroid is the critical organ, those hormones, for supporting the function of the immune system. We add, take that information, add it to what you're exposed to on the job, and now we start to see where the problems are. 